So welcome everyone. Uh, welcome to the Ask the Expert uh, ISWAG November edition. Uh, we are going to discuss a little bit about preterm birth in, in a high risk population. And my name is Conrado Coutinho and I'm here with Professor Fabrizio Costa from Australia. Uh, we are uh, two of the authors of the recent ISWAG guideline on the role of ultrasound on prediction and prevention of preterm birth. So, Professor Fabricio, uh, preterm birth is a big problem worldwide, and we have patients at high risk for preterm birth, especially those with a history, a previous preterm birth. How should we screen these patients for current preterm birth in this next pregnancy? Thanks for the question, Conrado. Uh, first of all, it's so important for these patients to be uh, referred uh, to a, a tertiary center for uh, follow-up because they are high risk. And then uh, the best screening is to do transvaginal uh, cervical surveillance for these patients. Uh, the ideal scenario is to start quite early in pregnancy, around 14 to 16 weeks. And then we are measuring the cervical length uh, and we do that up to 24 weeks. But I think it's the big question, and it's a bit polemic right now, is uh, what to do with these patients with pre uh, previous history of uh, preterm birth. Uh, we have some alternatives in our guideline uh, uh, touching that, and uh, I'd like to hear from you uh, what's the management of uh, this kind of patient. So thank you, Fabrizio, for your uh, answer and for the question. And yes, it's really a little bit polemic nowadays, if we should prescribe pro vaginal progesterone for these uh, patients with a previous preterm birth or not prophylactically in the start of the second trimester. Uh, what we know that we should do is to uh, surveil and uh, to do a, this, the, the cervical length surveillance using transvaginal ultrasound. And the, the first option is to introduce progesterone to, to do the surveillance of the cervical length. And if we have uh, short cervix below 25 millimeters in use of progesterone, this would be the appropriate time to uh, indicate or to discuss with the patient the probability of indicating a cervical circlage if we are uh, below 24 weeks, that usually is the, the maximum time uh, when we indicate this procedure. The other option is we don't start progesterone prophylactically from the start of the second trimester, but we uh, start the surveillance uh, uh, between 14 and 16 weeks of pregnancy. And then if we observe a short cervix below 25 millimeters, we start progesterone and then we can follow up this patient uh, weekly or more closely if the, sh the cervix is, is shorter. And if we have cervix that continue to shorten below 15 to 10 millimeters, then probably it would be the time to indicate cervical circlage. Mm -hmm.